So probably first on your list, like it was for mine, what does this compare to ballistically? I, I mostly pulled data for 500 yards and 1,000 yards. And the 6GT shooting a 109, 2950 feet per second, you're looking at 29 inches of drop, 7.8 inches of wind drift. And that's at a 10 mile an hour wind. So this is commonly compared to a 6 Creedmoor, um, also a 6 Dasher, a 243, and the 6.5 Creedmoor. So let's include all of those here. Uh, 6 Creedmoor, you're looking at uh, 3,000 feet per second, 28 inches of drop, and 7.6 inches of wind drift. The 6.5 Creedmoor, shooting 140 grain ELD, heavier but slower, 2,700 feet per second. It drops 31 inches and has 8.2 inches of wind drift. The 243, the thing that this is most commonly compared to, and realistically, it's not way better than a 243. Uh, 243 is just fine, but most people aren't shooting long range with a 243. They kind of have that set up for, for a deer hunt. So the 243, I'm shooting a 105 burger right in that range, 3,000 feet per second, 28 inches of drop, and 7.9 inches of wind drift. And the 6 Dasher, which is kind of, the 6GT kind of replaced the Dasher a little bit. A lot of guys still running Dasher, though. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Shooting a 105 at 2,900 feet per second, we have 30 inches of drop and 8.1 wind drift. Now, all of that was at 500 yards. And so the 6GT does drop less than a Dasher, less than a Creedmoor, uh, but it drops more than the 243 and the 6mm Creedmoor.